Martial arts can teach us all sorts of valuable skills, and our next guest says that we can also learn how to be better at other sports, maybe soccer or football or cross country, whatever. We're pleased to welcome martial arts guru, Colin Sands, who has been in the area of teaching this sort of martial arts for over 20 years, and Renee Fortin, who is actually a spokesperson for and instructor at the Calisan School in Norwalk. It's good to have you here, Renee. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Calisan, it's great to see you once again, my friend. And all sorts of people with uh, other sporting, real sporting desires come to Calisan's to learn how to focus better, to be in better shape for those sports. What all is it? All the above, adults, children, everyone takes martial arts for that reason. Um, at Calisan's, we have a special program for children called the Young Athletes. The Young Athletes teaches children not only better discipline in school as well as in their sports, but gives them a better sense of gravity, increases and enhances their sporting ability no matter what sport. Focus is key, discipline is key in whatever Exa that you exactly. do in life. Exactly, in life, in sports, in school, whatever you do, you need focus, you need discipline. Well, our first model here today is Maura Mullaney, and Maura is a uh, 10th grader over at Staples uh, High School in Westport. Um, Colin says, what, what will you and Maura be doing here? We're gonna do over here a round kick, okay, make it a drive. And go. And yeah, that's it. Cal Sounds is demonstrating higher, the importance of flexibility yeah, right. and two. using the exercises yeah, in his program. Yes. Everyone, hit. children, and adults and are I'll taught set. these exercises for that go reason. Ahead. Okay, take it Maura clearly has and been taking this for a while because she is obviously very and flexible. Maura's been with Cal Sounds since two. she was about 10, I believe. So she had a good start. Last I should say. And flexibility and in cross country. Uh, you have to be able to adapt to terrain and all sorts of different things, not exactly. to mention the stamina involved is uh, crucial. Yes, I, I ran oh, cross sure. country in high school, oh, so I know oh, sure. it takes it takes oh, a hard oh, toll on the body and being oh, able to oh, pace yourself and know when to give oh, your all. Um Calizans in martial arts and teaches that. Those were ten pounds per arm, arm, arm there. All the way down. All the way down. Calzone doesn't push. use weights to build no, muscle. No, no. He uses it. weights push to strengthen muscle. Yes. So all our programs yes. are geared around yes. strengthening. What Moore yes. is doing um, is does not hurt her in any way. Children, of course, are growing. Their bodies oh. are changing all the time. Um, you know what we're going to need? We're going to need uh, Cosmo, I think, now, Calzone. Okay. 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 So, Moore, thank you very much for being with us. Best of luck in your cross country mm -hmm. and at uh, Calzone. Yeah. And yeah. over here, we have brother. Cosmo. And Cosmo is uh, a fifth grader at uh, Northeast Run. Elementary School in Stanford. And go, push it. That's it. Yes, Cosmo's been with us for, as he said, two summers now, two going summers. into second summer. Um, he started in another program, and actually his whole family is with us. They were all in another program. Um, I don't think I don't know if the adults were, but the children were, and they've all come to us. Calzons has taken them from the traditional martial art program and changed them using his series of exercises to be more flexible, to be more adaptable. Sometimes a stricter, more structuralized program like with Taekwondo or strict, straight karate teaches one way. Calzons teaches all around. All so, disciplines. Well, he teaches, it's usually, it's kickboxing, karate with some kung fu mixed in. But it gives you an overall better workout. It gives a better, well-rounded approach. As you can see, his response time. Wow. And a lot of power. And a lot, a of, lot power. of power. Power, power is. Okay, fine. Thank you, Cosmo. Co Cosmo, incidentally, is a soccer player. I'm not so sure you want to run into him on the soccer field. Yeah. Thank you. Here's more again. With some defense and offensive technique also. Exactly. The block. Uh, learning how to judge your opponent up, watch, paying attention to when the strike comes, and then responding. And Callan says he's taking some real shots there from Mora. I mean, uh, he's pulling his, but my gosh. Callan takes a beating from all of us. I guess he does. Yes, he does. He's a tough guy. We try to break him down, but we can't do it. Well, he's been doing it for almost 30 years, so I guess somehow he's lived through it uh, pretty effectively. And yes. as you say, a lot of folks come from other schools to, uh, to get the focus that he is enabled these young people to find. And well, Whole family. It's, it's a lot more flexible, and we do have whole families. We train everyone from four up to 74. So this applies to just about anyone. This 
as part of our aerobic part of the exercise, we, he has a whole series of jumping jacks uh, where he's incorporated martial yeah. arts moves in with the jumping jacks. Now, is there an, an order that, that we're maintaining? Do we warm up first to get yes. into this whole Yes, scenario? everybody learns um, a series of exercises that we did before on the floor with Mora. There's okay. all different exercises on the floor. For flexibility and... It, and for um, warming your muscles up. Calzones okay. also employs a unique awesome. method using a bar, like a ballet bar. We have ballet bars where you know, older people sometimes don't have their balance right away. Children have, you know, less fearless. So you learn using a bar to get your balance to do the kicks holding the bar. Learning muscle control, isolating specific muscles, being able to use them. Everything is structured around that. Well, I'll tell you what, you've uh, certainly shown us a whole lot. These are, these are two very fine students, obviously, They're to first. exemplify the work of martial arts, in particular concept, but uh, I suspect that uh, many martial arts programs will give them the same focus that they need for exactly. school. Exactly. Exactly. Martial arts is excellent for that. And, and with the war going on and everything, children are afraid. I think a sense of being able to defend yourself somehow makes them feel better. It makes it More easier. Secure. Yeah. Renee, you've done a great job. Thank you so much for assisting here. Kalasans, thank you. And uh, Cosmo, thank you. Maura, great job. We've got a break coming up for you. And we do want to remind you that uh, we've got more every week on Education Notebook, but for today, that's all the time we've got. If you have a comment, if you have a story idea, we'd love to hear from you. You write to us here at 28 Cross Street, the News 12 Connecticut Education Notebook. And excuse me, guys, <laughs> there we are. Uh, you can give us a call if you'd like. You're fine. 750-5748, or you can email us at news12connecticut at news12.com. But as I say, that's going to be do it for this week. Uh, you all want to show us a little bit more as we go. And we want to remind you, we're going to do our homework. You do yours. And we'll meet you again right here for another edition of the Education uh, Notebook. Thanks. Thank you. Very high. Ready. All right. Here we go. So we'll be.